So what we have here is we have a man trying to push his dresser and the coefficient of static friction between the dresser and the floor is 0.25. The dresser weighs 90 pounds. Um, this man is pushing with a force F and what we need to do is we need to find what that force F is to um, just barely get this dresser to start to slide. And then we need to find what is the coefficient of static friction uh, between the man's shoes and the floor what is the minimum coefficient of static friction to get him um, to keep him from sliding so that's what we're going over in this video if you find it helpful hit that like button and please subscribe so the first thing we need to do is we need to find out and set up equation our equation for um, what the friction force will be between this um, dresser and the floor. And we'll find that using the equation, our force of friction equals the coefficient of static friction multiplied by the normal force. Well, the normal force is going to be the weight of this dresser, cause N sub D for the normal force of the dresser. So 90 pounds of the dresser and then this man is pushing um, this dresser with a force that is on an incline. So he's pushing, there's a component of it that's pushing parallel to the ground and one that, and a component that's pushing it into the ground. Obviously that's going to make it hard for him to push, but it makes this problem a little bit more complicated as well. So we have the component that's pushing against the floor is going to increase the normal force. So that's going to be plus um, our force F multiplied by the sine of 30 and that will give us that component that is perpendicular to the ground. So there's our normal force and this force that we need for it to move, to start to move, is going to be um, the component of the force that is parallel to the ground. So that'll be F uh, multiplied by the cosine of 30. And then we'll need to multiply the normal force by the coefficient of friction and set that equal to this to solve for F. So we'll write that all down here. We have F cosine of 30 degrees equals our coefficient of static friction is 0.25 so 0 0.25 multiplied by 90 plus F sine of 30 degrees so we multiply this 0.25 um, through this through the parentheses and um, we have the, this side, we have 0 0.866 F on that side, that's what cosine of 30 is, and then 0.25 times by 90 is 22.5, um, plus 0.25 times the sine of 30 is 0 0.125, F, so subtract this over the other side and divide that coefficient or the um, divide that number by divide 22.5 by that number and we get that F is equal to 30.36 pounds of force so that's how hard the man has to push on this dresser to get it to move and so we'll label that up here so 30.36 pounds so now that we found that we can find what that um, the coefficient of static friction needs to be between the man's shoes and uh, the floor for him not to slip so we have the, the normal force of the man call it n sub m this time equals 150 pounds this time plus 
because he's basically lifting himself up a little bit by pushing um, not horizontally on the dresser. There's a component that's pushing himself up off the ground. So that is going to be F sine of 30 degrees. So 30.36 multiplied by the sine of 30. And so that is going to equal 136. Sorry, this should be minus because it is taking away from the normal force. Um, minus that, and you end up getting into that is 134.82 pounds. So that's the normal force. And we have that if he is pushing with a force of 30.36, we need to find the um, component of that that is parallel to the ground. And because the friction force is going to be also parallel to the ground, so we're finding the forces that are in the, basically the x direction, if we say that this is the x direction and this is the y direction, we need to find f sub x. So f sub x equals f um, cosine of 30 and that equals, when we solve that out, that comes out to be 26.3 pounds and then um, that is the force that he is pushing on the dresser with, and so the friction force is going to equal that. And so we have here that F sub X equals the coefficient of static friction between the man's shoes and the ground multiplied by the normal force of the man. And plugging the things we know about that into our equation, we have 26.3 equals the coefficient of static friction multiplied by 134.82 um, divide this over the other side and we get that mu sub s equals 0 0.2 and remember that the coefficient of static or the coefficient of friction doesn't have units so we can see that the coefficient of friction needs to be at least 0.2, which is actually less than the coefficient of friction between the dresser and the floor. So that is how we find um, a few different of those variables. Kind of an interesting problem, um, but I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments and I will respond to them. I've been creating some awesome designs with the student engineering logo, like the one on the shirt. And I've got links down in the description. They go to Amazon and Teespring where you can buy stuff like that with, um, put on shirts and hoodies and mugs and stickers and stuff like that. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, student engineering, and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.